Three years after Matt tore down his last big ramp, X Games added Mega Ramp and made it the centerpiece of the event. You watch the X Games today, and you guys got risking their lives on these huge ramps. And Matt was definitely the guy who started ratcheting it up to where it got to today. He was the first guy to do any sort of big ramp stuff, and now we've got the whole big air event in the X Games, and that's largely because of Matt ever trying it or ever dreaming it. It seems like what he did on a BMX bike back then, nobody really noticed then, but years later, people sort of were inspired and, and, uh, and built off of what he did. Now, obviously, the big quarter pipe obviously came from Matt. The idea was never, never around before that, and it wasn't around after that. It wasn't like some other people did it. It was that ramp until Mega Ramp, until Danny. Matt has been a huge inspiration to me. You know, when he first did that toe into the quarter pipe thing, you know, behind the motorcycle and, uh, and just doing the biggest air I've ever seen. And right then I was like, that's, that's it. Like Danny Way, he stepped it up with the gap. I don't think anyone had ever thought, you know, like, oh, just jump over, you know, a 50, 75 foot gap and then hit a 25 foot quarter. You know, I didn't know his ramp dimensions. I knew that a bigger ramp worked for him, but I didn't know if it was gonna work for a skateboard. But I knew that it was possible because Matt did it, you know? I'm a huge fan of Danny. I mean, he's one of the last of the modern day gladiators. He took the big air idea and just expanded on it with his imagination and took it to new levels. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and bros at home to Los Angeles, California. Eh? What a way to start the night, but right off the bat with the condor, Matt Hoffman. Steve? Matt is back out of retirement. He looked at the thing and said, hey, I gotta ride this. I've gotta ride the big round. That's what we do. We love it too much to so just hang it up. I hate them people ask me that. When are you gonna hang it up? Like, if I'm standing on my own two feet, I will ride a skateboard. You know, we didn't want him to do it again ever, really. But I think in the back of my mind, I knew that it wasn't gonna ever be completely over. <laughs> Most people would have quit long ago with the injuries that Matt had. He has stretched the limits of what we've been able to do medically for him. I'd say the reason why Matt's gone as long as he has is mainly because of Matt's attitude, his character, his drive, his passion to continue more so than anything we've been able to offer him medically. You know, I wanted to go ride that, that big ramp at the X Games a couple years ago, and I was like, well, I don't really want to chase any of those those old records and stuff. I don't even want to compete with anybody up there. I just want to ride it. And so I want to invent my own contest. And so my own contest was take my brakes off my bike. And I still think that crash was probably more fun than anything I could have done on the ramp. <laughs> you know, like... I think he did a 19-foot air fly out to the deck. Matt don't care. <laughs> he just wants to have fun and go high on his bike. 